everybody. I know this is a little bit different than me being in front of my nice HD camera in front of my beautiful ring light, but um, I am actually away from home right now, but I did want to film this real quick for you guys because I do have some things that I want to talk about with you all before I go on with my channel and whatnot. Now, um, if you're aware of my format on my channel, I record videos in bulk. Um, if you notice I'm wearing the same outfit in a lot of the different videos because I record them in bulk and then I upload them. Uh, recently, Jeffree Star, who many of you probably know as the makeup creator of Skin Frost and um, the Velour Liquid Lipstick, he's been in a lot of hot water lately and um, people even as high as like Kat Von D have disassociated with him. That being said, um, I do have some reviews that I've already recorded and I will be putting those up for his products that I've already reviewed. Um, but I personally, from this point on, no longer support um, what he stands for. If you're unaware of all the drama, basically some backstory on Jeffree Star is he came to, um, he became prominent back on the, in, in the MySpace days and basically he would sing songs about like cunts and stuff and he was a little bit outlandish but it worked for him um but he was also a little bit uh but he was also a little bit mean to certain people used derogatory terms etc really not nice stuff um but he became changed for a while or so it seemed um but basically he just kind of kept it under wraps and more and more and more it's just mounting up where he's being cruel to other beauty gurus he's being cruel to people he doesn't agree with he's being cruel to his fans and it breaks my heart because you know when you see someone change it's always a triumphant thing it's like wow this person's changed yeah they were fucked up in the past but you know th they're doing good now and you know here they are trying to make beauty products make people feel good and then when you hear that they've really not changed at all it's kind of like such a letdown it I've been a fan of him since back in the day when I liked his music. I thought it was fun and quirky and it's like that was like 10 years ago and to see where he is now still acting the way he did 10 years ago, it's a little bit unexcusable and unfortunately like I can't go forward. Like he just released his limited edition summer collection. I was looking forward to that yellow lipstick, trust me. But, um, you know, he can keep his watermelon scented products. He can keep his skin frosts. Um, I'm just, you know, unless he shows some change or at least some remorse, I will not be featuring him after, like, I've already have some videos recorded of his products after those video, after those, after those videos go up and live, that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing any more. So guys, what do you think about the situation? Cause I know that, you know, he was very cruel to another beauty guru based on the color for skin and just, you know, he's very cruel to people based on the color of skin. He was very cruel to another beauty, beauty guru. Um, I'm, I'm not, if you'd like some proof, I can put some links in the description below. But um, I think anybody who's watching this who's a fan of his is, is feeling a little bit sad about this. Just, or maybe shock or disbelief, or maybe you guys already knew and you got fed up with it much sooner than I did. Either way, guys, if you want to talk about it below, go ahead. Um, let's try not to keep it hateful. So if you're still Team Jeffrey, like, I don't hate on you. You know, you can wear his products. You can, you know, be on his team, his side, and I won't judge you for it. If you'd like to talk pro Jeffrey, that's fine. You know, there'll be, there'll be no hate from me. But um, just don't hate on me for feeling this way and expressing myself this way. So guys, as always, um, if you'd like to keep up to date with beauty news and whatnot, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And as always, I'm Recycled Stardust.